Good morning. It's time for the North Carolina Vinyl Picker Show. And on this episode, I'm going to go ahead and show you my five records that I've heard a hundred times. The Randall Weaver Contest. I know I'm late to the contest, but I got them. I got them right here, and I'm going to show them just here in just a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring you back inside. And we're going to show you the stuff I picked up this week. So here we go. First one, Stephen Wilson. This is uh, not the album that I got into Stephen Wilson with. That was that would be Signify. But uh, yeah, The Raven That Refused to Sing. What a great album. Prague album came out in the 2000s. And I've heard it at least 100 times, maybe more than that. What's next, boys and girls? Close to the Edge. Yes, I know I've heard this at least a hundred times, if not more. Probably my favorite Yes album. I do love Tales from Topographic Oceans and Fragile. And the Yes album will be a close fourth. But I love Close to the Edge. And uh, what a great album. What's next? Pink Floyd. And here's my quad copy. Quad? Quad copy. Yes, that I picked up over in Harvest Records. It was on the wall. I couldn't get it down fast enough. It sounds incredible. It's German, and I only paid $35 for it. Kate Bush, The Dreamin', my favorite Kate Bush album. Yes, it is my favorite, and I've heard it about 100 times. The album after this one here, I've heard quite a bit myself, too, and the other two, three. It was the 80s, late 70s, 80s. But The Dreaming is my favorite. And my fifth album. Yes, it's got to be The Power and The Glory. Yes. This one here and Freehand are probably my two favorite of the uh, Gentle Giant. I also love uh, In a Glass House. So there you go. There's my five records for Randall Weaver. Uh, I know I'm late to the contest and you've already drawn the, the winner. But that's okay. I wanted to get in on this. And I'm going to say hi to Jack, the vinyl martini. I'll be seeing you soon. So take care, everybody. We'll be talking to you inside. Bye for now. North Carolina Vinyl Picker is back. And on this episode, it is brought to you by Noble Records, which is right down the road from me. And I just went ahead and showed you Randall Weaver's five records. And now I'm going to show you five more records that I picked up this week. Oh, yeah. Love is the Law. I used to have this on cassette back in the day. And I think I got the copy of the cassette still up in the garage. But uh, here you go. I picked this up for $5. It's a Japanese import. It sounds incredible. And I can't believe that the uh, I got it for 5 bucks. On the back, you'll see the price was 50 Yes. So did he make a mistake? I don't know. Not sure. Fish. Virgil. In the Wilderness of Mirrors. Yes, this is the album Fish when he left Marillion back in 87. He came out with this album. He said Marillion was getting too big. So that's why he left. And uh, there was a lot of uh, disgruntled members at the time. It was quite the shit show. But they found H and they carried on. Banco, one of my favorite Italian progressive rock bands. I got Capolinia and this is a uh, live album and you see what the guy wrote on there. He wrote on there that the Italian prog band that turned disco orchestrated rock. Well, he wasn't too far from that, I guess. My my buddy John told me that that, that was pretty much spot on. But uh, I like some of the tracks on here. Some of them are reimagined. Um, my favorite Banco album is probably Canto di Primavera. And they do a uh, copy of that. They do that on the second song on side A. So this must have been the tour from that album, I'm thinking. And I picked up this one here, this gem here. Yes, and then there were three. It's after Steve Hackett left Genesis. And this is, of course, a white label. Uh, not a white label promo, but a... Uh, Timestamp promo on the Atlantic Records, and it sounds really good. I ran it through my Humming Guru two times because it was pretty dirty. Looks like it hadn't been played in probably 30 years. And this one here, I got on Record Store Day, but I ended up not getting it that day. 
I ended up getting it in the mail. And this is uh, Eat the Music. This is Kate Bush. And this is from her album, The Red Shoes, which doesn't get a whole lot of love, that album. I think it had prints on it. So there you go. That's all I got. I got that, and I got the other thing, and I got this, and I got that, and that's it. Just a short one this week. I will be out there looking this week. Hopefully, I'll find a few things, and I'll be talking to you soon. So if you can, support them troops, and I will be talking to you soon. North Carolina Vinyl Picker, what do I always say? I'm out. <laughs>